It's just a random room filled with holes. I don't think there's anybody else showing up. I think it really just guarantees us with a lot of, like, recruitments. I was supposed to kill that. But I guess we can uh, continue this way. Oh, never mind. We got Shroomish. Uh, okay. There are too many Pokemon adventuring with you. Choose a Pokemon to say goodbye to. Oh, God. Uh... Sure, say goodbye to Shroomish. I guess it just doesn't give us the money. Doesn't really give us the money as soon as we say goodbye to it before we finish. Alright, so... Uh, Max Aether. Alright, cool. Yes, I know, we're hungry. I'm just trying to get to the end of this dungeon. It's probably just gonna be like 10 floors. God, yeah, it's really lagging my game when I do that dash move. Yanma? Oh dear. I don't even know if we have any more apples in our inventory. But we can get Yenma. Sales pitch. Items can be sold at a higher price to shops and dungeons. We haven't gone through shops yet, but... Uh, Yenma is a good addition. Alright, goodbye. Another Yenma. Hmm. Now, I'm not entirely sure if, like... Oh. Not entirely sure if, like... Would I want to do the case again where, like, I just get every single individual Pokemon? For, like, completion? Oh. Now... Now my, uh, belly is empty. I've done this little bit of a strat where, like... Oh, jeez. I've done this little kind of a strat here where if, like, if I do this... Oh, God, Executor? So then I would use an Orin Berry. Uh, it restores HP. Additionally, it increases your max HP during the adventure only. If your max HP is 100 or more, your HP won't increase unless you eat this berry. Okay, yeah. That's right. Orin berries also fill your health up. Or Orin berries also fill your belly up. That's what I was talking about. So instead of using apples, I've been using like Orin berries. Okay. It's past 12 floors. Wow, we came quite a ways into this forest. I wonder if Metapod is ahead. Hold it right there! <laughs> you know who is going to get the Metapod first? We are! So for you to go ahead... Well, we can't let that happen. What? Now hold on, Gengar! Why do you always interfere with us? Oh, didn't we tell you? Our aim is world domination! We'll take whatever reward we can get from Caterpie. And Caterpie will join us, too. That brings us closer to our goal. <laughs> and for that, you lot are in the way. So sorry to say, but your party's over right here and now. Say goodbye, Skitty. Oh boy. It is boss time. Now... I could throw... Here's a cool little trick you can do with these blast seeds here. 
you can throw them, and they will be forced to eat it. Oh no, swine up. Don't go for that. Uh oh. Uh, fallen ill, don't use it. As long as they... As long as they target Gengar, then we're fine. Boom. Alright, Ekans uh, is down. Oh wow, copycat? Holy crap. Uh... Pseudo Wudo, you're in a bit of a pinch. Let's see, use Orenberry? Sure. Alright, there we go. So now that leaves Metacham. Why do you keep saying it's fallen ill? <laughs> it's over for you three. <laughs> the only thing that you're missing on your team is the power of friendship. <laughs> the power of team company. Hang on, I gotta I gotta do the victory dance. Ow, 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 ow. You'll pay for this. Don't you forget it. No one should hold us back now. Let's find Metapod. Um, excuse me. Did you maybe come looking for me? You must be Metapod. Let's get you home. Caterpie was worried about you. Yay! I was scared, so I kept my shell hard. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> I was scared, so I kept my shell hardened and waited and waited. Thank you. <laughs> did 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 did. Yeah. That was a lot of money, actually, for recruiting them. Holy crap. Yep, it's got wary walk. Uh, nope. Okay, so they... They still give you money even if you recruited them, so I just got to keep doing it. That's actually going to get me rich here. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just realized what I was doing. <laughs> I didn't officially have them join my team. I have to go check my camps now. I think there's I think they're not gonna be there. Oh no. Oh fuck. I haven't been recruiting them at all. I've only been having them in my journey. Ah. Oh. oh stupid. No. Ah fuck. Alright. This is great. Welcome back, Metapod. Thank you, Caterpie. And thank you, Skitty and Brian. Well, I don't have any monies. Oh, no, no, no. We don't need a reward. We're happy to see that Metapod is back safe and sound. <laughs> cool. You're even more cool than I thought. I want to go on rescues when I grow up. That would be great. Chase that dream. I have an idea. Ryan, why don't we do something right here? We should make a proper rescue team base here. Something impressive. That's cool. A rescue team base is cool. I want to work here when I grow up. Me too, me too. Uh, that's what we'll do. Let's be sure to build our own rescue team base. 
<laughs> all smiles and all miles. Thank you again. Okay, bye. Be careful going home. <laughs> hop, 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 hop. <laughs> I've always wondered how Metapod walks. <sighs> well, we ended up working for free, but that was the right thing to do. And we got to show Gengar's team a thing or two, so it's all good. <laughs> I'll show you a thing or three. Let's do some more good tomorrow. Yeah, I, I think I have been realizing that I never actually recruited those other Pokemon. I had to say yes to them if they want to join my team. I thought it was for, like, to join our team of three. I didn't think it was they. it was like the entire team. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to go check my camps. Either way, that's probably a lot of money that we just got after that one. Uh, hello? Huh? Who could that be? Oh, it's the Jump Luff. Um, is Rescue Team Company here? That's right. Huh? Wait, aren't you... Please help my friend, please, I need help. Forget it. We're not about to work for that. But my friend needs a gust of wind, please! I remember. You're the jump fluff from Pokemon Square. We saw Shiftery agreeing to do your rescue job. Yes. But Shiftery... He hasn't come back yet from the rescue mission. Are you serious? Our friend Jumpluff got wedged between some rocks. We Jumpluff can't go anywhere if we can catch a win, or we Jumpluff can go anywhere if we can catch a win, but although the sky is full of thunderclouds for some reason, the winds haven't blown. Not even a breeze? That is strange. Shiftery's leafy fans can whip up powerful winds. We thought Shiftery's wind would be able to dislodge our friend, but... But Shiftery hasn't returned? It doesn't sound like all that challenging of a rescue mission. It is strange. Oh? That's the spirit, Brian. Your expression tells me you're ready. Okay, we'll go look for them. Really? Thank you! No problem, you can count on us. Let's go, Brian. I do believe this is uh, Mount Thunder that we're gonna go to. Alright, let's check the camps. I feel like... I knew it. I have not recruited a single member from those dungeons. I still have just the Magnemites. Ugh. Alright, <laughs> that's okay. Can learn from my mistakes. I can just say yes to everything. <laughs> uh, that was a that was a simple mistake. But yes, I do believe this next dungeon is going to be uh, Mount Thunder, which is actually going to be a major boss fight coming up. Oh, never mind. I mean, it's right next to it. But I think like Mount Thunder is right to the right of it, but it looks like we have to go to Silent Chasm. But I think right now I should start doing, um, oh wow. You can find Ampharos in here. Um, I would want to figure out how to, or I will uh, do some more, uh, rescue quests here before getting into the chasm. Whoa, okay. That's an Onyx. That's is one of the big Pokemon I was talking about. That is in like a 3x3 three three, uh, Pokemon size. And we didn't recruit it. <laughs> oh well. But I will let... I like when you recruit big Pokemon like Onyx. I do wonder what, uh, I actually do wonder what 
it would look like if you recruited like Whale Lord or something. But yeah, I kind of wish our like kind of wish our like Sonic fan base wasn't so like unhinged. People are like complaining about his design in the new Knuckles series that's actually coming out in April this year. They they showed a trailer and it looks really good. Like it I feel like it's going to be a blast to watch. It unfortunately it's like 6 episodes, but even if it is 6, it's going to be a hell of a time to watch. And I think it even shows a little bit some of some Easter eggs that were shown in the trailer too. Like he wears his cowboy hat like back in the Ova. Um anime movie it showed him going through like a, a wooden signpost <laughs> like he would in the original Sonic games um, they showed a character I forgot his name but I think he's supposed to be like the leader of the Echidna tribe in Sonic Adventure and I think people were up in arms about it because it has something to do with Ken Penders ow what the fuck was that for <laughs> That's what you get. Um, like it has something to do with Ken Penders about it, and um, like if I remember correctly, I think you, I think that guy wanted to file a lawsuit against the against the company because of the echidnas for some reason. I'm not sure about that whole thing, but I just did not care about it. I just like the Echidna tribe. Hey, look at that. We got Onyx. No, we don't. Never mind. <laughs> we, uh... Oh. We do not have Onyx yet, but... We will get there. But yeah, I'm very excited about the Knuckles series. Another Onyx, holy crap. This is what I mean, like, what happens if you, like, recruited all, like, 3x3 three three Pokemon? It's just gonna, like, take up an entire room. Oh, I'm asleep. Uh, let's take the money and go. But yeah, it's supposed to be, like, the leader of an Echidna tribe in Sonic Adventure. And I think it's supposed to be like Tikal's father or something like that. I just forget his name. I think it's like Pacha Namanak. Uh, sure, let's exit. And you see him in a brief second where he's wearing like a bowling alley outfit. And I'm wondering if it's gonna happen where like Knuckles is gonna see visions. Or like hallucinations of his echidna tribe, or that, uh, or that I feel like they're gonna bring more echidnas into into planet Earth as like they're gonna be more established with the planet, just like they did with the uh, Sonic X. Like, I mean, it probably still was in the Sonic world, but like. You would just see more and more Sonic characters interacting with, like, the human world. Like, like, Big the- Oh my god. I almost forgot about Big the Cat. <laughs> Could you imagine what Big the Cat would look like in, like, the Sonic movie uh, designs? That would probably be one thing that I would probably be a little bit uh, nervous about. Because <laughs> people thought he was creepy before. But he's just a big fella that needs a that needs a friend to go fishing with. Rouge the Bat, on the other hand, they did have a voice actress that's going to be in the third movie. That is probably going to be Rouge. And we're I'm kind of curious of what that's going to be like for design wise, as well as the voice, because like we all remember how she sounded like in Sonic X. And I, and I don't know if they're going to stick with that. Or... Go for, like, the recent tone of her voice. Which, I don't know if they 
would want to do that. I feel like they should stick back to what it was in Sonic Adventure. Like, they're probably... Like, maybe they'll do that too for Shadow. Now, I'm not even sure if it is going to be Hayden Christensen. But it could be someone similar to that.